Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am going to do a look with a palette that I purchased at Walmart. And this is actually a hard candy and this is one of the holiday uh, gift sets. And it's a $22 value for $9.88 from Hard Candy. And it brings an eye eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, two lippies, miniature, you know, or deluxe size, and an eye primer. Um, so if you'd like to see how I created this look and how I really feel about this palette, just continue watching. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so we're going to start the eye look with the um, Hard Candy Rose Gold Eyes. And I have never used this brand before, so I really couldn't tell you whether it's a good eyeshadow brand or not. So we will find out together. So it comes with a little sponge applicator that I kind of just threw aside that I don't use. I don't use the sponge applicators. But um, I'm going to start with this color right here to set my, and it doesn't have any shade colors, to set my um, concealer, not concealer, my primer. I don't know why I always want to call it concealer. And this mirror does not want to stay up. <sighs> Struggles. Okay, so... So how have you guys been? So the weather over here has been a little nuts. It's been really nice and cool for like the last week. It's been like um, the 50s in the morning and then the highest has been like in the high 70s which is, feels wonderful. Now this morning um, it was cool and I had a hoodie on. Not a thick one because I know better. But just before I started my video, I had to turn my air conditioner on. And yeah, in the morning I had to turn my heater on to take the chill out of the house because my dad was here, he gets cold. And then I had to turn the air conditioner on because it got hot and I was sweating. Okay, so I'm going to use this shade right here as my transition color. So it has a pretty color here that almost looks like a navy green. This one right here, I think I'm going to use that. Try to do something a little different. So anyway, so yeah, it's been nice. But now I hear that after today, it's going to be like in the low 80s for next week, which is okay. It's better than 90s. But our cold weather doesn't last long. It's usually just a few days and then that's it. So I'm going to be filming a um, Target and Walmart haul that I have. And this is one of the products that I purchased at Walmart. And I, I bought some um, drugstore affordable makeup that I had brands that I had never used before. So I thought I would go ahead and create a few looks for you. And maybe something that you can use for like Thanksgiving or holiday look that is a little more glam, but it's affordable. Everyone likes affordable, right? I definitely like to find something that's affordable that is a a good um, good quality. Yesterday I created a look with the uh, Revolution Emily Wants palette, and it turned out really, really pretty. I had not used that palette in a in a little bit, in a little while, and it turned out really pretty yesterday. I posted a look on my Instagram. And I really like that. Alright, so this is that lighter color. Now this, I wish it had like a darker brown, but it doesn't. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of this pink. Let's see what we do. This is definitely a little different. It's just makeup, right? If I don't like it, I will wash it off. You know, I never practice a look before I film it for you guys. Uh, or even look at the palette and decide what I'm going to do. 
I figure that I can play in front of the camera and hopefully you guys like what I do and if you don't well then that's okay at least we spend some time together I wish this one was a little deeper also but it's okay it's nice it's pretty So is everybody ready for Thanksgiving? I still have not gone grocery shopping. I uh, We kind of have like a Cuban-American Thanksgiving. We have all the American um, Thanksgiving fixings, the, the turkey, the stuffing, mashed potatoes, you know, um, pumpkin pie, the whole bit. And then I make black beans and rice and we have a ham. We don't make pork. So it's kind of nice. Something different. We get in together at my niece's house. And there's going to be like 30 of us. So it's going to be a big gathering. So I'm going to take a clean brush that I have in with some my big fluffy brush here we go just to kind of wow this is kind of short <laughs> just to blend everything in the first shade that I used and just go a little bit over here because the pink kind of took over and all I can see is that pink Okay, so now even though it is not um, matte, I'm going to use some of this on my outer V to darken it up a little bit. It's a very pretty color. I'm not sure. I don't know feels like it's, let me see, there, it works better with a finger than with a, with a brush. I can tell you that I don't have any, any eyeshadow on my face, so that's nice. Okay, now I'm going to try to use that green, this one right here. It's got some shimmer and it almost looks like an army green, olive green. Let's see. Very, very pretty. Right in the center. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. That's a pretty shade. That is really, really pretty. This is a really nice quality palette, guys, for the whole, this is a nine, I got it for $9.88 and the whole value is $22, but I believe that the price of the palette alone is $9.88, plus you get a highlighter, now I do have a little bit of fallout now, a highlighter and two uh, deluxe size lip, lippies and the little makeup bag. Where is my brush? That is a very, very pretty color. Let me try to... Just blend it a little bit. Now let's do the other side. I really like this green. So pretty. So I have to start my Christmas shopping. Haven't done that yet. Well, actually I have. I am um, I'm done shopping with my for my daughter and a good friend of mine and I have 
most of my granddaughter, the older one, taken care of. Um, my niece. So I do have some done, but I just leave the harder ones for the end. Some of them are very hard to shop for. Like my grandsons, the little ones. I am going to use a pencil brush to use this color right here, which is like a champagne, oops, on the inner part of my lid. And hopefully it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Kind of looks like a little iridescent. I really don't want a lot of glitter on my face, so I'm trying to be very gentle. The one in the middle is very pretty, but wow, that looks like it's got a lot of glitter. That looks messy. So you would need a glitter glue for that. I didn't bring any with me, so. I don't want to take a chance. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what to give my little one. I think the, I don't know, the four-year-old, let me get her some jewelry, like uh, nice gold earrings or something like that. Oh my God, here we go. She's, she does like to play with dolls though, and toys, so. My seven-year-old grandson, he likes board games. We have fun playing board games. So, um. I'm gonna try to go a little more with this brown because it kind of still looks like a little too too pink. I wasn't trying to go for that much pink. But I don't really have too many choices here. very pretty though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take one of these um, flat brushes that you can use for eyeliner or you can use it for your brows. And I'm going to try to use it for eyeliner and kind of stamp the, my upper lashes and hopefully don't make a big mess. That eye doesn't look the same as the other one. I think the green is higher on that one over there or something. All right, let's line the other eye. Okay, I'm going to take the first shade that I used and kind of trying to clean up a little bit. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. All right, so. I didn't use blush because I was going to use it from another product I bought at Target. So I'm gonna use it now and then I'll show you guys the whole thing when I do the whole video. I was gonna do the whole video and then the eye look and I decided it was gonna be way too long. So this is a perfusion palette 
And this I got at Target, and this was $9.99. And it's very pretty. It brings uh, two, four, six, eight eyeshadows, a blush, and it brings a highlighter. It also brings a brush. And I am not sure if this is for your eyes or your lips. It looks very glittery. So, it's for the eyes. All right, so I'm going to use the blush from here, and then I will do the uh, mascara. You know, every time I do the videos, I always look at half. I look like I have a lot of blush, but when I edit, I look pale. It doesn't look like I have any blush. I don't know why. I'm not one to put a lot of blush to begin with. I don't wear a lot of blush on a daily basis. But I feel like for the videos, I really have to overpack it so that you guys can see it. Okay, and then now I am going to use a little bit of the... Where's my brush? Of the highlighter hopefully it will not be it doesn't look like it's got glitter profusion I've heard that it's a very nice brand of eyeshadows but like I said I've never tried it before so when I do another video I will use that one Now this one brings a nice brown that I could have used to darken the outer V, but I don't want to cheat. Alright, so kind of like with a powder brush, kind of like mix everything together. Okay guys, so I'm going to put on some mascara and I, oh you know what, I didn't do anything with my lower lash line. Let's see if we can put a little bit of something on the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to use this one right here. Because if I use pink, it's going to look like I have pink eye. And maybe a little bit of the black. I have a lot, a lot of glitter fallout. And I think it's from the one that I put on the... Uh, on the inner corner so where is my organization is so important I'm gonna use a little bit of the black just on the outer part of my lash line to kind of connect it to the top Just a little bit. I've seen people stamp the, um, oh God, I got black there. The inside of the waterline with eyeshadow, but how can that be comfortable? I would think that the powder would get in your eye. Okay, let me see if I can take that off. Gosh, I've got so much glitter down here. I am all glowy. All right, I'm going to put some mascara and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I used my Essence Lash Princess Mascara on the upper lashes and the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer uh, Water Resistant on my bottom lashes. And I still feel that the look is a little too pinky. So I'm going to try to add a little bit of the black on the outer V. 
so let's see what I can do so I'm gonna use from the same palette that I've been using just a little bit of the black see if I can darken this up just a little bit and I'm using a pencil brush so that I can have more control um, and then I'll blend it in with an, a fluffier brush but right now I just want to make sure I get it right where I want it I really don't want it in my crease I just want it on the outer on the outer V or on the outer edge whatever my mascara is still a little wet so I'm trying to be careful so that I don't mess that up and I'm doing just a little bit at a time because if you get a lot of black then it's kind of hard to take it away but you're gonna always add more so I think I like that better I need to put some velcro on my fingers or something so I don't drop everything I think look, that looks pretty kind of mixed with the red or the pink all right so I think this is all I'm gonna do I don't want to mess it up anymore I can still see a little too much pink here there you go all right so I think I like this look better uh, let me get my bigger brush and kind of fluff it up a little bit just make sure that everything is blended and my mascara because I kind of like hit it a few times okay so now we're gonna do lips And let me go get my lip liner because I forgot it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I got this one here that is pretty neutral. So, see, I think we decided this is like a gloss. And this one is like a metal so i don't think i want to do the metal i think i'm going to just do the gloss i'm going to do the whole lip with a lip liner and then and this is a rimmel lip liner exaggerate all right so i filled in my whole entire lip I don't know how good these lip uh, products are I've never used them they're sweet kind of tastes like vanilla but a little sweet so um, I have mascara here on my nose of course so this is the uh, it's called cashmere lip cashmere silk and and the shade is no I was I don't see a shade I thought it had a shade but it said made in China hmm so I guess it's not cruelty free huh all right so I guess uh, that hard candy it is not cruelty free for those of you that are interested in that and this if I can find the, sh the shade I would write it down 
in the information box, but I can't see it. So anyway, this is the completed look. I hope that you like it. Um, let me know if you want me to continue doing a drugstore glam look. I, I think this is kind of glam. This is something that you can use for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, or if you're going to a party or something like this. Uh, it's a pretty palette. It's a pretty, you know, pretty shade. And once that I darkened the outer view with a little bit of the black, I think it looks a lot prettier than when it was just the pink and the brown. So, um, I don't know how long the lipstick is going to last. Normally, if you put lip liner underneath, it will last a little longer. So, I do that quite a bit. If I don't feel like using a lipstick or if it's a real glossy lipstick like the L'Oreal, the ones that are really shiny, I, you know, I fill in my lips with the lip liner and then the lipstick will last a lot longer. So, um, this lipstick is actually a little too sweet. For me, I really don't mind if makeup has set, um, as long as it's not overpowering, as long as it's something that once I put it on, I can't continue to smell it. I don't mind if lipsticks are scented or sometimes, you know, you can, they taste like a little bit of mint or a little bit of vanilla, but it's kind of like very subtle and then you don't even realize that there's a, a any flavor or taste to them whatsoever. This one is pretty, pretty sweet. And I can tell you that it's something that I'm not going to like having on my lips very long. So, um, but the eyeshadow palette is definitely pretty. As long as you don't look for something that is cruelty free. This definitely is not because this is made in China. So... It doesn't even really give you uh, the ingredients on the back of the uh, of the palette, but it's definitely a very pretty, affordable palette. So I will probably continue to use it. It's very, very nice. Um, about the only color that I don't have in another palette is probably that green one. But I just wanted to try something that you guys would you know enjoy and that you can see that you can find something affordable and um you know that will, you can create a pretty look so i hope you enjoy it and if you did please give me a like and thank you so much for spending some time with me and i love you guys see you on my next video bye Mwah.